Hello everyone. Um, so it's right now it's after midnight, August the 20th. And I have decided to just express myself, you know, regarding the simplicity of living life to the fullest without a need of complicating what we do, how we are, who we are, and to just learn to live and enjoy life uh, to the fullest. I think humans tend to be focused a little too much in complicating life and, and trying to find meaning or a reason to live when the only <laughs> reason to really live is to, is to just be be the absolute be the absolute highest best that you can be as who you are the highest aspect of your human self you know forget the fact that we're multi-dimensional beings and always remember that we are here and to enjoy life for what it is. Miracle. We are the miracle of life. And you know, one of the things that I have found to be completely helpful in, in how we li live life is to always remember to breathe, uh, remembering that there's a solution to everything and we all hold and have all the answers to life in a beautiful loving place that's our heart our heart has all the answers it has the knowing of what we need to do and how we need to live life in a way that we can feel fulfilled and to find the true meaning and a true path and the true mission of who we are and sometimes it's just about being here and holding the space you know I seen so many people they get discouraged over simple little things and you know or I've seen others that they focus on wanting to be some famous name uh, in, in you know in a past life or you know thinking that there's some kind of ascendant master that is well known when in fact you know many of us are already ascendant masters and we don't need to uh, rely on rely or wanted to be someone or something that we really aren't because in essence we are our true and unique aspect and quality as a divine human all of us are divine all of us hold and carry the divine spark of the one true creator depending on how you want to call it divine god goddess it doesn't matter labels mean nothing when you go into a place of love and understanding that we are all connected period uh, my message my main message to you is to remember to be in the heart always remember to be in the heart always to offer your thoughts, your emotions, your actions to the greater source of who you are, to being the absolute best human self that we can be or that you can be. And I guarantee you that your life will shift and, and changes will happen because your perception changes. And as you change and you go into the heart and you go into rifle intention, rifle action, and right thinking that there's no judgment in how we are how we behave yet there's responsibility on, on 
the energy that we put out. The better you are at watching yourself and being conscious and aware of what you put out, the stronger the message you give to the universe. The universe is the, you know, legendary genie of the lamp. You know, it's been talked about in the secret. Every single master has spoken about it. And I'm just here giving a simple reminder that we are fully supported. But we are the ones who magnetize our feelings, our emotions, our thoughts and make it into a reality. Always knowing that what is presented in our proximity, in our field, in our lifetimes, in our life, in our moment to moment is all a reflection of who we are. A lot of times we carry pain, we carry trauma, and the easiest way for the universe, for the soul to present a way to heal that is to give you exactly what it is that you need to heal if you haven't healed it properly. And I shouldn't even say properly, but if you haven't gone deeply into your own divine knowing, your heart. Um, you know, it's simple, like I'm gonna give one example regarding my life. One of the biggest trauma that I suffered as a child was being abandoned by both of my parents. And you know, I've come to I've come to the realization and to terms with how I felt because my parents did exactly what they needed to do and they did it based on how they felt and what they knew at the moment. You know, there's no judgment on my part. Uh, it's taken me so many years to get to the point where I understand that I'm not a victim, I was never a victim, and that life is all about my actions, my thoughts, and it isn't just about reacting. You know, for instance, again going, again, going back to abandonment and the trauma that I experienced of being abandoned as a child of six years old old um, my life <laughs> you know the universe I should say kept attracting opportunities for me to heal that aspect how it happened was I would either abandon myself emotionally and just go into not feeling or avoiding or people would create a space of abandonment where I would feel that I was left out or abandoned and once I understood, which, you know, recently I came to understand that that's how we truly heal. And again, it's all about at the point that we are in life is we finally need to walk our talk. Very simple. And, you know, I'm striving every moment to be the best form of what I came to be here as a human being, knowing that yes, I am a multidimensional being, you know, yes, I am connected to the angelic realm and so on. And the most beautiful gift that I received recently was my own understanding that I am beautiful, just like all of you are so beautiful, so unique as individual human beings. And once we begin to embrace that aspect of being a human being, we begin to let go of, you know, like as a star seed, I always felt um, that I didn't belong here. I felt that I didn't belong with my family and I felt lonely and I felt isolated because I couldn't fathom the fact that I was separated from my true source or from where I felt free. And yet, once I understood and came to terms that I am here as a human being and I am a div divine being, yet having a human experience, it made me understand that life is so beautiful and life is so much beautiful and I feel so much gratitude 
even the simple fact that I'm communicating the simple message that be the best you can be as a human being, as a unique individual. Do not concentrate on what other things about you or what you think about others, but just concentrate about being in a place of love, gratitude, compassion, and your life will shift and you will go into a unique and beautiful, sweet surrender, a surrender that takes you into the divine flow of life. So again, be happy as who you are, regardless of whether you're an angel, a earth angel, star seed, a god, it doesn't matter. You're here in human form, and as a divine being in human form, form behave, act, think, be as one. And that will make you happy. And that will make you the beacon of, of light, the beacon of change that we all chose to be. Blessings, my love to all of you. And I hope that through my words or through the energy, you can feel the deep compassion, love and gratitude that I feel for all of you. You are all unique, you are all beautiful, and you are all miracle. I love you all, blessings, and may your heart and may love lead your way.